as I was walking inside the room, and uh, I saw the diversity of people, the diversity of nationalities, and uh, I immediately, something clicked in my mind, and I saw this symposium around Martin Roth, it's actually because it brought us, all of us together here, because his ideas were universal. Because this is about sharing values. And then we ask ourselves, what can culture do? Culture brings us together. And I think this is the one first answer we can have. And uh, of course, culture brings us together, but culture unites us. This is the second answer. And culture doesn't divide us, and culture should not divide us. So I'm very happy, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Mr. Ulrich Graf, uh, to uh, first of all share with you the greetings of uh, Madame Audrey Azoulay, the Director General of UNESCO, who of course uh, could not be with us, but asked me to represent her in this uh, important panel and this important symposium. I think during his tenure as the director of uh, the Victorian Albert Museum, Martin Roth was a strong advocate of UNESCO. He chaired a UNESCO event at the Chatham House in London where he highlighted the importance of culture as a tool for peace building and reconciliation. I'm going to come back to this later. I also remember that in 2016, he moderated UNESCO event uh, at the World Economic Forum in Davos, joining UNESCO in calling for an end to the destruction of heritage in times of conflict. And in fact, Martin wrote knew that culture often played a decisive role in politics and international relations. And I'm sure if he was here, he would not be surprised to see that for the first time in the UN resolution, there was a resolution taken in 2016 on the protection of cultural heritage in times of conflict as an important part of protecting and promoting peace. And this is very important. He will not be surprised that in the mandate given to UN missions to protect, you know, cultural, uh, uh, to protect peace and being peace in the world, he wouldn't so be surprised that for the first time in Mali, the mandate of protecting cultural heritage was given to a peacekeeping mission. Reminding us of our common humanity, we know that culture can create conditions for dialogue when political or even economic relations cannot. This understanding lies at every heart of our UNESCO's work. As the only United Nations organization mandated with the protection and the promotion of culture, we serve as a global platform for international cooperation and dialogue, seeking to promote peace and human development through culture. This is why, after the extremists destroyed the mausoleums of Timbuktu in 2012 in Mali, UNESCO worked with local communities to reconstruct them in record time. Doing so not only restored a powerful symbol of Malian identity. It also provided Timbuktu's residents with a sense of hope and the basis open which to recover from the trauma of the conflict. This is to say that Martin Roth's ideas were also in each and every reconstructed monuments, be they mausoleums, be they houses, be the uh, mosque in Timbuktu. 
It is the same belief of importance of culture for resilience and the recovery that is driving today's Director General Audrey Azoulay most recent initiative to revive the spirit of Mosul in Iraq. Thanks to the generous support of some of the countries like the United Arab Emirates, we were able to mobilize 50 million to reconstruct and revitalize the city's cultural landmarks and institutions including the emblematic Al-Nuri Mosque and the al Adba Minaret. The aim is to restore the Mosul's place as a symbol of Iraq's pluralistic identity, which will be crucial to building and maintaining peace there. Ladies and gentlemen, Martin Rhodes also played a crucial role in challenging our expectations of what a museum is and what it can do. During his time as director of the Victoria Albert Museum, he made an already renowned institution more transparent, more open to the world, and more willing to engage in the great social and political question of our time. Addressing the changing role of museum was the driving force behind the UNESCO 2015 recommendation concerning the protection and promotion of museums and collections, their diversity and their role in the society to which uh, ICOM, the International Council of Museums, contribute to it. And I'm happy to know that the president of ICOM is in the room. UNESCO is hosting an event organized by the Victorian Albert Museum and the permanent delegation of the United Kingdom on the REACT initiative, which aims to offer a blueprint for museums and heritage institutions on the use of digital technologies for making, storing, and sharing reproduction of, on cultural heritage. Martin Roth also knew that at a time of rising nationalisms, even national museums had to be spaces of cross-border cooperation and understanding. Here, the sharing of heritage is key, which is why on last 1st June, UNESCO brought together world leaders, museums directors, ministers and experts to discuss the circulation of cultural property and shared heritage in a groundbreaking conference. And I was very happy to see in the little brochure that we were given, a wonderful picture which was titled, All of This Belongs to You. And this also represents the ideas of Martin Roth. In sum, UNESCO's work shows that culture can transform societies, especially those recovering from conflict, and culture can also foster long-term reconciliations. It can also transform our relationships with each other, creating common ground where there was none before. UNESCO believes that we are only just beginning to tap into the potential of culture, and we look forward to working with many of you to show that the world can do it. Yes, let's do it with culture. Thank you very much.